Hi, you guys. It's your girl, Hazel Dior, back with another video. This video is going to be about, as you can see in the title, <coughs> is it safe for transgender women to work a nine and five job? And why is it hard for transgender women to work a nine to five job or get one? And why do most of us turn to sex work, which is escorting? Now, as some of you, well, most of you may not know, I am an escort. Um, I work a nine to five job also. I'm a pretty busy bitch. And starting off, a lot of the girls, you know, we have to face discrimination, judgment, just all types of shady ass shit and being treated second to last at a job. Like a lot of jobs, <clears throat> well, I guess it depends on what kind of job. They won't even, when you're going for an interview and they find out you're transgender, them hoes ain't calling you back. They're not calling you back. And if they do and you, and you, and you start working, they start treating you different than they do the other workers. Like, you really is like the black sheep of, of the co-workers. And you never know who has a problem with what. You know, it's a, always a bitch out of, a, out of the bunch of 10 or 20 people that always have an issue and press the issue. Like, we, we mind our own motherfucking business. And they'll sit there and be talking to another worker, be like, oh my God, you know, that's a man. You know, that used to be um, a man, that's a man. And all of that, where it gets spread around, but you know, messy asshole, they come, they gonna come back to you and tell you. But, it's like, Okay, for a, an example, I worked at, at McDonald's when I was like first starting to transition. With like the ending of me working there, I was starting to transition. And I was wearing nails for quite a while. You guys can go watch that story if you haven't. Some, some, you know, little tea in there. And the, the, um, the general manager, the owner of the place, she was discriminating against me of me wearing nails and said that I couldn't, I had to find another job if I couldn't wear nails and see like, nails might not be that big of a thing to some of you, but to a trans woman, especially just starting out in her transition, bitch, nails is everything. Bitch, nails is never coming off. Nails is like, I'm not gonna say this makes me as a trans woman because clothing, hair, nails, makeup, doesn't make you as a trans woman. It's, it starts from who you are inside and everything else is just like what comes with it of being a, a woman or feminine character. Some people don't know that. They sit there and think, they be like, oh, he's still a man in a wig or whatever. Bitch, the wig ain't making me no more. <laughs> the wig doesn't make me a woman. But sorry about me rambling because I've been going through some things lately. So my mind kind of like all over the place. And I apologize to the few supporters that I do have. Thank you for um, being by my side and still rocking with me. I know I've been a little MIA. I promise you guys I'm going to be more consistent with this YouTube shit. It just make hella videos on all different types of topics. I really want to um, make like a lot of trans topic videos, but I'm like so early in my transition. There's only so much content on that end I can give you guys, but I can talk about everything else. But back to what the video is about. Now, a lot of girls with that being said, went through the disrespect the hatred and, and discrimination at work and being treated differently even picked on your life can be in, in, in danger for some girls we revert to sex work which is escorting now i started off escorting 
mainly, well, it was introduced to me. And I was like, you know, that's like a you know, pretty good idea. It's right when I first started transitioning. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't, McDonald's is discriminated against me. I can't even be myself and wear my fucking nails. I can clearly wear my nails and be myself and escort at the same time. And people really judge the escorting thing. It's really not, you shouldn't judge. Kind of like the book by its cover, you gotta kind of like find out the details on it because it's not, I'm not a prostitute. So I guess it's similar to a prostitute, but in a classy way. So yeah, I, that's, that's what I do right now currently to make money. And if I'm happy with it, yes. I don't have a problem with it because if I had a problem with it, I wouldn't do it. It's just simple as that. I'm not exactly being forced to do it, but it beats working at a bush as um, Burger King or something. Now, mind you, I am working a nine to five job at a college that will be my last job until I pursue my new career. So I'm just kind of holding on to it. But it beats working for anyone. You who just uh, if you like a real self sufficient dependent person you want to be you know a boss ass bitch who just want to like work for someone now i get it for the up and coming people you know you got to start from somewhere to get somewhere but that's not nine to five job is in the future not for me anyway i got so many plans for my life i could imagine just making a few little coins and and um living paycheck to paycheck you know how stressful and miserable that is? No, ma'am. That's how there's so many drug addicts and alcoholics around this bitch. No, I cannot do. So, yes, to my ladies that escort, there's nothing wrong with it at all. You know how it is working at a 9 to 5 job. You know all the bullshit and stressful shit we have to go through working at a job. I salute to the bitches that are. If you are working a 9 to 5 job, salute to you. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with working a job, any kind of job, and there's nothing wrong with escorting. You just have to do whatever you feel correlates with who you are. And that's why it's so big for, in the trans community, we revert to sex work because a lot of us can't get a job, and when we do get a job, a regular job, corporate America, we being treated poorly and badly and being discriminated against and sometimes the person in charge they'll hire you in acting like oh i think you'll be you know the right candidate who will and they'll be purposely doing shady shit on the low like you will have to keep i'm pretty sure you'll catch on to it but they'll be like okay they know you're a trans woman right you'll be like oh can, can you go and um um, pick up all them boxes and help out the guys like they'll purposely put you on some manly ass shit where you can be doing the girl shit and be vacuuming the floors they'll them bitches have you stripping floors pushing big ass carts and doing a whole bunch of shit that's all a part of it like it's like discrimination you can get hurt you really can get hurt because you never know how men feel or anyone feel in this day and age, when it comes to a trans woman, people don't mind their fucking business as they should, and they just like, let sh they just don't let shit go. They just wanna keep amping it up. It don't even matter if you're minding your business. It's crazy. So yes, my, my ladies that escort, bitch, keep doing your motherfucking shit. You know, not saying that escort is just like the easiest thing ever. You gotta be like, it's kind of like like a hustler mentality. Kind of got to be like strong-minded, but it's not dangerous unless you put yourself in a dangerous situation. It depends on how you do it. It just, it really depends on how you do it because if you're gonna go, you know, to like out, out on a strip and just escort with anybody, are you gonna like, when a date come through, are you gonna like put him through like a little verification process or, you know, just like different levels to it. And I hate when the people say, oh, be careful. Be, what are you talking about being careful? Oh, cause you know, you don't wanna catch anything. Bitch, what's that anything about catching anything? That's the thing with escorting. Maybe escorting is you paying for my time, but we already know 
that escorted, you know, is mainly like sex work, but you actually is paying for my time to be in my company, in my space. And a person can have a lot of requests. It's not just exactly sex. It depends on what kind of sex are you doing. And of course, use protection. Like, it's just like if you go to a club and you go home with a guy after that, um, yeah, you be careful with that too. Like, you don't know if the guy gonna rape you or what. Like, it's just like a, a bitch being on guard when you try to jump into this lane and do shit like that. That's what anybody. So yes, nine to five job isn't for me. This last little job that I'm working, after that, it's a wrap, baby. It's a fucking wrap. I didn't put myself through enough with these jobs. I'm not a worker, bitch. I'm a self-sufficient, dependent, boss-ass bitch that deserve her own shit and her career. Nails is my thing. I want to get into cosmetology field. Maybe dip into doing lashes and you know and everything else but nails is something i'm really really passionate about and working on so in the near future you guys are going to see me do nail tutorials um just showing you guys doing my nails all different kind of designs i'm perfecting my craft that's what i'm working on like right now behind the camera you guys don't even know but yes i am I'm uh, very excited for my future to be this boss ass bitch, this queen that I always dreamed of being. Like I said, a nine to five job isn't the way to go for me and, and maybe for like a lot of other people. I really just want to encourage my ladies or men to just be more codependent. Like, I mean, not codependent, you know, self-dependent on yourself and want to be your own boss is very important i just can't stress it enough it's not really that hard like do you want to work for target your entire life or walmart and let them hoes boss you the fuck around them jobs don't give a fuck about you let me give you a, an example you working at a job you've been there five ten plus years you can be a good fucking worker, get all types of certificates, um, the um, leader of the month and shit. As soon as your ass decide you want to, um, like you get sick and you need like a whole week off. As soon as you call off of work, it's a wrap. Them hoes is looking at you sideways. Like, as soon as you come in, it don't even be. Oh, sorry, I heard something. I thought I heard cash out. But it, it don't even be the managers and supervisors. It be the employees too. Like, everybody feels some type of way. Like, y'all bitches give a fuck about this job shit that much. It's just so much stuff I seen in a, the um, 9 to 5 job scene that I'm like, oh no. It's like people become enslaved into it in their mind. No fucking way. Yeah, as soon as you just call in, they're looking at you sideways. They're gonna treat you differently. Oh, I'm gonna take a vacation to go. Ooh. Soon as you call off or something happened, bitch, you get into an accident. Soon as you miss them days, it's a wrap. Soon as you do something wrong at that job and you can be the best worker. Even not the best worker, a hard worker. And working there for years and so dedicated and go, going above and beyond. Soon as you do something a little off that they don't like, bitch, they're gonna replace you like that, especially them plants and factories. Bitch, you ain't no calling off, bitch. You call off three times in a week because you're sick, bitch, it's over with. Them hoes firing you. And when you your own boss, you don't have to worry about that kind of shit. Like, you are your own boss. You wake up when you want to. You go see when you want. You do whatever you want. So that's what I'm that's my goal. That's what I'm working towards. And I'm so happy for you guys to see me grow on this channel as a trans woman, as a business woman, and just as a human being in general. Because I feel like even though I'm 27 years old, 
I feel like I'm in the beginning stages of my life, like still. I feel like ever since I transitioned almost seven months ago, I feel like I'm a new person. Like the old body, my male body, I feel like that's an old body. I don't even feel like this is me. Even though my body is still transitioning and going through a lot of changes, I feel like seven months ago was like a whole different body. Weird shit, right? <laughs> but yes, you guys, I just wanted to make a video talking about colliding the 9 to 5 job with the escorting. And um, yes, I guess it can be dangerous, but like I said, it just depends on how you do your shit. How you do your shit. It can be dangerous. I'm not saying it is dangerous because, to be honest, since I've been doing it for a little while, I haven't had any, like, dangerous moments, like, where I've been attacked or anything. It's how I handle the people, and it's the company that you invite around you or in your house. Like, I guess it depends on what area or what city or state you are in can make an impact, what type of guys you intervene with. Um, the whereabouts, you know, it's different factors come into play when we're talking about, like, danger. Now, is it, like, danger being a trans woman? It can be for us, yes, because it's just a simple fact. When you go places, you just never know. You never know who fucks with you or not. You never really know who knows your tea or not. There's so many levels to this shit, and I can just make talk on and on about it but i'm not gonna make this video too long i think i might have to edit it but i just want to tell you guys i love you so fucking much and there is going to be more videos coming very 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 soon i may have a little tiny bit going on in my personal life but i'm not gonna let that discourage me i am here hazel dior is here for you babies and um uh, thanks for commenting on my videos and um i'm sorry if i didn't respond back to any of you um right away like I said, I be um, doing the most of time. But thank you for supporting me. The few little followers I have and many more to come. I love you. And I'm checking out, babe.